the Green Army has successfully defended their mega trench line. However, the Tans have called their allies. The Red Spartans and the Purple Horde have arrived to aid the Tans. They're risking a big portion of their army to hopefully take the Green Trenches. But the Greens have already locked in their success here. Now, they're able to fortify their backlines even farther because they've bought time. They've also gone ahead and reinvigorated their frontline defense at the trenches. The Blues have managed to send aid in the form of some of their new technology. Artillery weapons, anti-tank guns, and a few tanks. This will assist the Greens triumphantly. Of course, it's not a lot, but it is something. They've also mined the road, meaning tan infantry, purple infantry, and red infantry will be exploding during their assault. If the Greens win this battle, they'll successfully have defended against the Tans, and they'll likely be able to launch a new assault of their own soon. If they lose, they'll have to retreat back. However, their previous victory here has already allotted them a greater defensive advantage. So, there's no real losing situation for the Greens here. It's just a matter of if they stop the Tan offensive now, or if they have to fight more defensively later on. If you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you have not already, and comment down below what you think should happen in the next episode. This episode is a mixture of a bunch of your ideas for what should happen after the last episode. So guys, without further ado, let's get into it. What's up gamers, I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then boys, let's go ahead and press start right here and check out the largest uh, trench invasion that we've done to date in the Army Men universe. Of course, the Reds have superior health to pretty much everyone on the battlefield. They're boasting about 500 health compared to 100 for everyone else. Uh, the Tans are bringing forward the tanks. Uh, once the action starts, the tanks will actually move forward, except for this one, which is moving forward already. Um, and then, of course, the Purples have the Horde, so they have the most number of troopers on the battlefield for this coalition. And there is some of that blue artillery striking in the heart of the woods right there. And as the dust settles, we'll be able to see what kind of evisceration happened there. I mean, the Reds might be strong, but if they're just getting hammered by pure artillery shells like that, they can't really help it. They're just going to die. So, a number of dead here, and it looks like some just straight up exploded, as we can only see their helmets and guns there. So, I'm guessing seven or eight losses from one artillery strike. Some brutality right there. Uh, I'm hearing some more artillery going off. This one, a bit of a fluke. And this one hits further back, taking out another purple and red soldier right there. Actually, the sky kind of makes these red soldiers look a little bit more orange to me, but yeah, they are the reds. <laughs> Oranges are not involved yet, but potentially very soon they could be. A couple troops running reconnaissance get gunned down wholeheartedly by green infantry right there. Pretty brutal. I think the uh, coalition here is going to have a quite a bit of trouble until they can get those tan tanks forward and then they might be able to do a little bit more something something but here come those tans reds and purples right now cresting over the hill and starting to fire away another huge artillery shot takes out a multitude of them the faster they take out that artillery the better off they're going to be luckily this front line is very very long so we've got multitudes of troopers across this grassland here firing away from a distance and hopefully landing a few shots on the greens okay we've got a few green soldiers dead in the front line here of course this is a three-tiered trench so three different sections in which they can defend from this artillery actually has lost its sandbag cover in front of it meaning they are getting targeted by something explosive uh, not entirely sure about the rest of the stuff here. I mean, these are technically tank guns, but they can easily be used as HE shelling artillery if they need to. 
so those are also a fairly high value target here. Front line of greens just spamming fire out there. They're taking a few losses here and there down the line, but overall it's very promising with the amount of fire they're delivering into the coalition here. It is brutal. Another body just exploding right there. Purples, reds, tans pushing forward. Reds have been like heavy targeted by the artillery man. I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but it's a good strategy from the greens and uh, well, there's no blues on the battlefield, but they're using blue technology here. It is a very good strategy because the reds are of course the strongest units on the battlefield. You kill them and you can almost win the war based on that. All right, here comes the tan tanks though, and that's going to serve some problems. 50 cal at the top, getting a little fire out there. Uh, I think it's trying to zone in on that comet out there, the blue comet, but it's not taking shots just yet. Uh, so it'll, it'll need to zero in a little bit more. Of course, these anti-tank guns can do some damage to it as well. Comets machine guns firing away in the front right there. I don't know if its main gun is really doing anything, though. Eh, yeah, hopefully it does soon. All right, green's starting to take more and more losses here as the uh, enemies start to come forward. But I think the losses that they have delivered onto the coalition here is more than enough to uh, help them towards victory here. Not necessarily promising a victory, but at the very least, you know, they're they're starting to whittle away at this massive force coming at them. These tanks, though, are not going down. The last time we did this battle last week, the tanks got absolutely eviscerated very, very quickly. This time, it seems the tan tanks are being a lot smarter and staying further away out of range of the Piots and the bazookas that the greens have for their infantry. Uh, so that will be a little bit problematic for them if they can't get those small arms explosive fire out. Another artillery shell, though, hammers away at a tan tank. That might be enough to kill it, honestly. I'm not entirely sure, but it might. Oh, did it die? It's still alive for now. It does need repairs, but I'm not going to do the repair rule yet because it's just sitting out in the open and any tank crewmen that I pull out of there are going to get shot up and killed instantly. We only do the repair rule if it's... Uh, tends to be a fairly safe area to do so. Um, that's not always true, but for the most part, I try and only do it when they're safe. A lot of the 50 cal gunners have been shot out and they're trying to replace some of them, but it's a lot of fire they're taking on right now. The greens are doing a, a swell job here. Anti-tank guns still managing to fire out. Comet is still alive over here. Oh! And it gets popped right as we say that. Yikes. Middle ground green soldiers are getting wiped right now. It's the flanks that are doing the best. I mean, as long as something is doing well, that's good. Uh, blue artillery piece right there goes down for the count. Yikes. All right. And the rest of these boys are just sort of laying low on the attacker side of things. Let's go ahead and bump it up a speed here. Uh, as we can get sort of an overhead. It's hard to see because of all the uh, <laughs> the forest that they're dealing with, but luckily we're using some very bright colors so you can actually kind of see right here. Uh, the trench line overhead just looks so baller, but some of these pillboxes that they've got in the middle lines are starting to get hammered by tank fire, which is definitely going to be more than enough to kill them. A tank tries to come straight down mid and it is now on fire. Probably courtesy of one of those anti-tank guns or potentially uh, a stray bazooka shot or something along those lines. I'm not entirely sure, but those blue cannons are godsend for the greens, man. Without those, they would not be holding out here at all. Oh, some more artillery fire goes out there, getting some big boom booms, but look at this tan tanks getting very, very close. They're starting to get hit a little bit by Piot and bazooka fire, but nothing too deadly yet. They're still going to be up and about. The small arms fire is continuing as well against some of the coalition infantry that's further back behind the tanks. But they're also coming forward as the tanks get a little bit more gusto and start to push forward. The infantry feels a little bit more uh, hardy as well and starts to move in with those tanks. So it's all good stuff. The right flank actually seems to be doing the best for the coalition currently. Uh, lots of dead red soldiers on the battlefield, but they're the most noticeable. Actually, they, there's actually quite a number of them still alive, too. Probably due to their added health, but that doesn't mean they're invincible. They will take losses, of course. Green starting to take more and more L's here across the battlefield. Massive explosion. Oh! The anti-tank guns are starting to get targeted here. Absolute yikes. Some of the backline machine gunners here spraying out fire. I mean, this is a really far distance. To be accurate at this distance is going to be really, really hard for the army men soldiers here. Not an easy task. This tan tank is in 
the green lines. We got a bazooka trooper right there. He's unable to fire right now. We've got a Piat soldier right there. I mean, just stand up and take the shot, man. Odds are you hit it, but right now he is fully suppressed and not willing to stand up and fight against that tan tank. I think, honestly, the difference maker here is that the tan tanks are having an easier time coming forward this time around. Uh, greens are taking them out, but for the most part, tan tanks are doing a little bit better here. Uh, and in the last battle, they were definitely more condensed, so maybe that was the problem with them. That was a nice bazooka shot on that tan tank right there. There's still two more right over here, though. You're going to have to do a little added work for that. Still plenty of green infantry on the left flank over that way still, too, which is definitely a good thing. And did you just shoot your own anti-tank gun? Very interesting. Uh, masterful gambit, sir. It did not pay off at all. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Let's hit that shot. Kind of weak. Kind of cringe. Give it another go. Come on, buddy. You can do this. At least track it. Do something to stop this thing in its tracks. Do it for the greens, baby. There's a track. It's at, it's at the very least track. That is a, a good thing, believe it or not. Oh, more infantry tries popping up because eventually the coalition infantry will be coming through here too, which will be very, very problematic coming forward. There we go. More tanks going down on the battlefield. Beautifully done. Make sure you don't let those crew members come out and start wreaking some havoc. That one's going to explode, so I doubt there's any crew members left alive in that puppy. If there are, I don't know. They should invest that fire equipment into a business because, god dang, that is crazy, man. Call the shark tank sharks. Ooh, this Bazooka Trooper does go down. He did a beautiful service for the Green Army, though. Masterfully done. But more Tan Tanks continue to push through. A couple of them getting hard struck from Bazookas and Piots, which is excellent. This one just runs into a pillbox. I guess they thought their own strength was a little stronger than it was. How are these pillboxes doing? There's still a few soldiers left alive in these, fighting away. That's very good to see. They're under a lot of fire, though. They're under quite a bit of fire. It's not super easy. Oh, and there's another tan tank blowing sky high, single-handedly causing lag for the map. Oh, God, this one could sweep the back. Oh, come on. Piot Soldier. Face right. Yes. Terrible shot. What was that? Oh, my God. Come on, buddy. All right, someone else is firing at it, too. There you go. What a shot right there. Front armor, armor in a very weak slab of armor right there. Well done, my friend. Well done. Front armor usually is very powerful, but in these Shermans, not as much. Especially when you get a nice, like, just flat, like, pancake shot in there. Uh, it'll do a little bit more impact force, so that's really nice. Greens are basically down to their left side of the battlefield here. Battlefield. I did not mean to pronounce it with, like, a weird southern accent. Um, and look at this. All throughout every one of these little emblems is a living purple, red, or tan soldier. There's still so much infantry. We'll start enacting the repair rule here. We'll do some repairs. And uh, we do have the recrew rule, but I don't love to use it. I do not love to use the recrew rule, but I'm going to here because we did the repair rule. Um, I just think the recrew rule can be a little bit too OP because static weapons can be extremely overpowered and killing them the first time can be quite the feat. But I know a lot of people like it when I do the recrew rule. So what I'm going to do here is just recrew a couple of these things. This clearly needs to be repaired anyway, and this one is living. So we'll just recruit two of those because I don't like to recrew everything. I think it's a little bit cheap and... Uh, just makes it too challenging either way it seems to be an infantry fight at this point anyway there's really just those two tan tanks that are getting repaired currently uh, and if these green infantrymen can manage to do it they they're golden they're, they've still got some bazookas and piots firing away which is great because those are devastating against the coalition infantry of course uh, we've got some coalition troopers coming through this way uh, we've got one Piat soldier over here standing alone, and he is completely crouched, so he might not even be able to get up to fire. He might be just too suppressed or something. I don't know what's going on through his mind right there, but he is not popping up at all. The rest of these soldiers over this way are ooh, getting gunned down little bit by little bit. Grenade goes out. Was that from this guy? I don't know. I don't know, but it's not looking too good for the coalition troopers. This guy has ceased repairing this thing, so I take it that it is unrepairable. So that's a rip right there. And this one is still alive and still capable of firing. 
Uh, but sadly, this... Is oh, wait, there we go. All right, nice. It is firing away. Beautiful, beautiful. Using it as artillery is probably the best bet because there's not really many tanks that they have to deal with right now. All the ones that they would are getting repaired, so it's not really a big deal. There's another artillery shot from it going out. Hitting these woods over here. Oh, look. Those are the AP mines. Oh, staggering losses from the AP mines. There should still be more over here. Yeah, there are some more over here. No one's coming to these patches yet. No one's coming to these patches besides a few tanks. Oh, this guy's gonna... Wait, wait, wait. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there. Yep, there she blows. There's still one left over here. <laughs> All right, so the coalition infantry has had to cross the minefield. Uh, a bunch have made it past, but many did die at the minefield over here. And this left side, uh, if they do come down, they will get mined the crud out of. Um, this machine gunner right here has 49 kills. I did not mean to lay him down. Get back into your stance there, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay, there you go. <laughs> You're doing good work. You're doing good work, son. Uh, 49 kills is absolutely incredible. This trooper has 9 kills. This trooper has 29. This trooper has 8. This trooper has none. <laughs> this guy's got 12. This guy's got 11. This guy's got 18. This guy's got none. This guy's got 7. This guy's got none. This guy's got 1. This guy's got 1. This guy has five. I mean, pretty astonishing numbers from the greens. Uh, they, they are definitely in last stand mode at this point in time. And here comes another tan tank coming forward here. That anti-tank gun is down, so they can't trust in that. But they do still have some bazookas that are hitting their own pillboxes, which is not helping these guys stay undercover at all. That is a, a crying shame. And here come some of those coalition troopers. There's not a lot of them left, but the greens really, really are in last stand mode here. I think it's just a matter of how much damage they can do to the coalition to prevent them from coming through in the next defensive line with so much. And you have to remember, since the greens won the last battle, their backline defenses of their fortresses and castles is really strong right now. It is very, very strong because they've managed to kill so many troopers at this initial trench line and had, like bought themselves some time to build up their back defenses. So um, really, for the Greens, this was kind of a battle of like, hey, if we stop them, that's great. If not, let's just kill an absolute buttload of them and make our job easier down the road. That's sort of the overarching goal of this battle. All right, that guy goes for a grenade. He gets gunned down. These are... Oh, they're all down. Yeah, that might have been it. That was indeed it. Still more mines going off out here. Still more deaths for the coalition. Um, as you can see, yellow are dead coalition troopers. Red are dead greens. Um, and, of course, the blue support vehicles and things like that. But, I mean, overall, the coalition got beat down. Oh, more mines going off. Hold on. Let's fast forward and see if some more mines do go off here again. Every once in a while, there's a pop. <laughs> oh, it's kind of sad. I feel a little bit bad. Oh, oh, there's a couple more mines going off. Green's getting kills after the fact. Pretty incredible. Might as well be Call of Duty martyrdom. There's another couple kills right there. <laughs> I mean, look at this. The Coalition started with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of soldiers. They're down to maybe 100. Um, I, I would say they probably had a thousand to start. I didn't actually do the counting, but, uh, they had a ton. They had a ton. My goodness. The greens probably had like 250, 200, 250, something like that. Mines continuing to get kills. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna need to get the sappers out here, I think. If we don't, oh, they're like confused. Huh? Why'd that guy die? If you've ever seen the Pancake Mines uh, video from YouTube, but an absolute certified hood classic. <laughs> All right. That's going to be about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This was a really fun one for me to make. Uh, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below what we should do for the next battle. I'm considering either A, we check out what the Orange Crusaders are doing because those uh, religious nut jobs over there who pray to Inu... You know, maybe they get involved in the unifying war a little bit. Or, the next option is we revisit the Blue Isles, where the Purple Horde is currently sieging them. Um, but I think we should uh, 
take a break from the green front and go to either of those two fronts, which would be interesting. But let me know in the comments. Maybe you guys disagree. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.